Hello guys, you guys, it's Van back here, and today we will be taking a look at the com comparing the iPhone 4 and 4S. Now, my 4S I have here on iOS 5, my 4 right here on iOS 6. So now, design comparison, both look pretty much the same on the front. They're just different colors, but both come black and white. And this side right here, both look pretty much the same antenna-wise. Now, the antenna layout is a bit different on the GSM 4 of CDMA. The GSM iPhone 4 also has a SIM card slot, which is this, where the SIM cards go in to like give you service and such. And then of course we got our backs, which look pretty same. Got our very pin connector and the speakers, which are okay. And we've got pretty much the same sides now. The 4 has like an antenna right here that I believe replaces this one, if I'm not mistaken. So I hold it, held it like this. Or it's more like this, I believe. I don't know. I don't own GSM iPhone 4, so I can't tell. But you would lose reception. So now, it's a, now I can do a boot test because this phone has a weird issue that I've been having where every time I try to shut it down, it keeps re it re it instantly boots back up again, like without me pressing the power or home button or anything. So, I, so please tell me in the comments what that could be. Now, as you can tell, both of these. Now, this has the A4 processor and this is the A5. Now, it's not easy to see on camera, so I'm going to get the camera to focus more. So, first step we'll test is the calendar. Now, let's we'll do that again. For us to do that faster, photos in three, two, one. For us, one, but I pro that was probably my fault. Camera here in three, two, one. While comparing the cameras right here, as until it's both really mediocre, like they're like this one shoots V. Like on the back cameras, this one's five megapixel right here. This one is eight megapixel. And get in the video wise, you get 1080p. And video wise, you get 1080p video on the 4S and 720p on the 4. And you also get flash on both. And if you go ahead and swap them around, as you can tell, it's pretty much the same. This is VGA quality. I believe this one is briefly improved. Front camera is briefly improved too. Like I said, the FaceTime cameras actually at the time were not intended for selfies or anything like that. It was actually intended for a very for fa the new FaceTime, which was a feature that originally came out with the iPhone 4. So now we'll be testing out another app that we are going to be using in the real world phone. Let me open that again. Four did that faster. Safari. Four us did that faster. I'm not going to try an actual web address. Music here in three, two, one. I can't tell up tell for ourselves. Now YouTube here in three, two, one. Oops, let's try that again. YouTube. Four is that faster? That's because this app has an animation. Sorry guys, can't focus. Focus, focus, focus. Now, no. now in the real world, you're not gonna really be using any. Let's try a dual jump here and after going into settings 321. Airplane mode. And I'll sh general 321. The 4 right here you get a 6.1.3. More the name. And with the 4S right here. You get 
iOS 5.1.1. So now let's go ahead and test out a real world glimpse of dual jump. Now you're most likely going to be using games on. Yeah, all right, so. So you pretty much get a picture of clock. Oh, clock is gonna be in our one, three, two, one. So, in the real world, what do, which one should you buy? Ne neither, but comparing, but let's compare usability. Now use a bill. Now you get an A4 processor on the four, A5 on the four S, which is slightly better than the four. But which one would I recommend buying? Well, usability-wise, the 4S is, is pretty useful on iOS 9. But, on iOS, but the iPhone 4 it really isn't usable anymore, so... Like I said, I wouldn't recommend going with either anymore in 2020. Well, actually, I would recommend the 4S if you're just on AT&T or T-Mobile and you want, like, a basic phone. Because Verizon and Sprint don't have 3G anymore, unfortunately. But I guess that'll be it for this video. Please follow me on Twitter at iTunesFanboy. Please follow me on Instagram at the iTunesFanboy. Please subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to like so that way more, more of my videos get suggested. Don't forget to subscribe to my other channels. You know, for projections and Theodore Magger. And don't forget to check out my website too. And I guess that will be all for today. And peace out.